Hi, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about vaccinations. So it's important to um, get vaccinations and be up to date on your vaccinations when you have an inflammatory arthritis like uh, psoriatic arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, or ankylosing spondylitis. We want to give your immune system the best chance that it has on fighting uh, different diseases out there that could be um, that can be controlled by hopefully uh, immunizations. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the annual flu vaccine. It is very important that you receive the annual flu vaccine and it should be in the injection format. This is not a live virus um, if given by injection. Uh, it's given by injection in the arm. Uh, it's it's uh, widely available everywhere from your doctor's offices to pharmacies to free vaccine clinics in the malls if you just uh, look around in your area and find out um, what is available. Um, if you believe that you get the flu from the flu vaccine, that is really just a myth. What you may experience after receiving the flu vaccine could be some generalized aches and pains, um, or it could just be a, a coincidence and you have a cold afterwards. And in rare instances, you may have gotten the flu directly after getting, getting the flu vaccine or been exposed to the flu right before uh, the flu vaccine. It usually takes about two weeks after the vaccine um, to be covered by that vaccine. So the next vaccine that I'll talk about is the pneumonia vaccine. Um, you may have heard uh, some advertisements on TV about a new pneumonia vaccine, um, and that certainly is available. It's called a PCV13, and we have been using that for our patients um, here at the Arthritis Center, and we then give them a booster with the old pneumonia vaccine, which was um, actually called the PPSV23. Um, I do not expect anybody to remember these numbers, but if you just remember the new vaccine and the old vaccine and we put them in combination and we probably have uh, afforded you some pretty good uh, protection against pneumonia. Uh, another vaccine that's important in our, in our uh, area of medicine is the shingles vaccine or the zoster vaccine. Um, as we know, uh, people are more susceptible to shingles as they age, and as well as if they are immunocompromised, like somebody with an inflammatory arthritis. So this vaccine is live, and what we would ask is that you get this vaccine before you would consider starting any type of biologic medication, um, because live vaccines are absolutely contraindicated, meaning a no-go, you cannot have those while you are on a biologic medication. So we would not start the shingles vaccine after you have had, uh, after you have started on a, a biologic medication because we wouldn't want to put you at risk of then getting shingles while you were on uh, that medication. Uh, other examples of live vaccines that um, are common would be the flu mist. That's why we asked you to get the, the flu shot rather than the flu mist. The flu mist is, um, is a nasal spray, but that contains live components of the of flu. So that is not, um, is not recommended for people who are on biologics or really who have any of the inflammatory arthritis um, uh, diseases. Um, other live vaccines that we would ask you to avoid would be yellow fever, um, measles, mumps, and rubella, and some of the other uh, childhood vaccines. Um, you just shouldn't take them yourselves. It's okay. Uh, we're not seeing too much trouble with people who are being exposed to other family members who have received it, but um, we just wanna be careful about that. If you have any questions about vaccines, and their importance, please talk to your provider. Thanks.